Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I just want to give you guys a quick status update here on Sixtagram, the uh, forthcoming Instagram app that's in private beta right now. It is made by Rudy Hoon, who makes Wikipedia and Six Seconds, that fine app. As you can see here, I have a double wide tile with the counter on there. So yes, it will have, of course, a live tile. The app is coming along very nicely. Rudy uh, updates sometimes three times a day with this app and it's kind of crazy. It is private beta, but there are a couple thousand users right now. Expected ETA is probably next week actually, so it's really close to being completed. As you can see, the app loads up very quickly here. Uh, in the top right corner, you have your profile, the counter here for the um, you know notifications of you know people liked your images, commented, all that. And a new feature he added is now you can tap the little icon at the top there and it'll bring you back up to the top so you can quickly hop around. If I tap my profile, it's going to bring down all my information, including people who are following me, which is pretty convenient, and as well as my latest images that I've posted. Going back, you can hit the little 29 there and it's going to give you all the news of people who've commented and stuff so you can just sort of navigate right through there. Obviously, it's very smooth, very fast. It's a great app to use. Uh, it has this great feature here, which is just so awesome. Uh, if you use the, his Vine app, six seconds, it should be a familiar gesture. So you flip over and you have, uh, you can like it, you can share it, you can make a comment, or you can download the image, which is pretty convenient. And scrolling through here, and of course, you can see there, it's your typical Instagram <laughs> app. And so it works well, uh, no complaints so far. He's pumping out a lot of updates for it. Now what makes this app of course really unique is the ability to go through and capture video and images. So of course everybody can post images to Instagram, but the ability to actually post up a video is pretty awesome. So you you know have the camera app right here. You can throw on uh, grids to help you, you know, align the shot. Here's your flash control, so you can turn it on or off. You also have front camera support, and so you can just switch over here to video camera, and now you can record a video, and it works very much like uh, six seconds where uh, you hold down the button and it's going to start recording video, and you can see that little red bar start filling up. And then it's going to upload it to Rudy's servers, it will then pass it on to the uh, Instagram ones. And it's actually a pretty fast uh, experience. Uh, let me go back to this. <laughs> no, delete it. So there's a cool little thing there. I was asking if I want to continue. Um, once you do take a picture, we'll snap one right there. The other really great, unique and new thing here is it brings up filters. Now, we've all seen filters before, but these are the official Instagram filters and it hasn't been done yet. So these are the exact ones that, you know, Instagram basically signs off on and they're really nice. So you just hop through and you can switch. Of course, I don't have a great image here to show you guys, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, and so that's basically how that works. And then you hit the little arrow up here and it's going to share it to the servers. Uh, otherwise you go into settings and it has your normal information, including your profile. You can uh, find your contacts, you know, search through your contacts and search Instagram for people to follow. Autoplay video, uh, I should probably actually turn that off. I actually find that annoying, but yeah, so when you're scrolling through, if someone posted video, it would autoplay it, just like in six seconds, you can disable that though. Uh, progress bar for rendering video helps. Uh, live tile, of course, you can disable or enable that feature. You have your information, disconnect from Twitter, you can sync with Facebook, so you can post directly to those. Uh, no Foursquare or Flickr support yet, maybe that'll be forthcoming. Like I said, these updates are happening pretty much daily with Rudy, so he's rushing through it very quickly. But there you go, Sixtagram should be out hopefully next week. Uh, excellent app, you know, it is the most full featured Instagram client yet for Windows Phone 8. As far as we know, Instagram isn't going to try to get this app pulled. They're not necessarily supporting or endorsing it, but they're going to sort of look the other way, assuming uh, it clears all their legal hurdles. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, everybody.